Hello, my name is Colin and this is my wife Sharon. We were both young Christians when we met at a church in Belfast. We have been married for 41 years and have lived in Grey Abbey for 32 years. In recent years we have taken a few road trips across various national parks and areas of natural beauty in America, New Zealand and Australia. Everywhere we have travelled and explored we have been in total awe of the beauty of God's amazing creation and we would like to share with you some of our favourite experiences. We arrived in Vegas for an overnight stop before setting off for the Grand Canyon. It was noisy, glitzy, glamorous, bright, buzzing, with lots of shiny gold coloured things and thousands of people. It was like nothing we had ever seen or heard before. Although we really enjoyed walking around and taking in the atmosphere, we were really happy to leave the next morning. In total contrast to Vegas was the Grand Canyon. We wanted to see the sunset at the canyon and we arrived in the early evening expecting to have plenty of time to see the view while waiting for the sun to set. The rim of the canyon was round the corner at the top of a hill and when we turned the corner the view that was before us was absolutely mind-blowing. The sun had already started to set and it had turned the canyon to gold. The canyon went on and on as far as it was possible to see. It was so vast and amazing that our minds just couldn't take in the scale of it. After the noise and crowds, crowds in Vegas, it was so calm and quiet with an atmosphere of reverence and awe at God's creation bathed in gold. After the sun had set, we realised that if we had arrived any later, we would have missed the most amazing experience. In New Zealand, we stayed in a place called Twizel. From here we planned to visit Mount Cook, the place where Sir Edmund Hillary trained for his expedition to Everest. We arrived early evening and decided to drive to the first, first view point, which was about 60 kilometres away. Again, the views and setting sun were amazing and we had a lovely few hours absorbing the sights and the silence and of course taking lots of photographs. When we returned to our accommodation, our host Joanne recommended we sit outside in the dark, wrapped in warm blankets to look at the night sky. It was a lovely, still, cloudless night and because there is zero air pollution and no light pollution allowed in Twizel, the galaxy of stars was really clear and bright and appeared very, very close. It was amazing. The next day the weather changed and it poured. We headed back to Mount Cook, but because of the rain and the low cloud, we could hardly see the mountains, never mind the view, and certainly not the stars. Again, if we had waited, we would have missed it. I'm sure you can see a pattern now. We took every opportunity that presented itself because we didn't know what would happen next. If we had chosen to wait, we would have missed out on some of the most amazing experiences of our lives. In every journey we have taken, the beauty, vastness and wonder of God's awesome creation has filled us with joy. We are so thankful and blessed that we know and love the creator of it all. We hope you enjoy looking at our photos of amazing places. But there's a big difference in what you see and the journey we experienced. It would be easy to tell you of all the many ways God has blessed us in our lives and you would get the pretty picture. But it is only by accepting God into your own life that you will get to experience how great the journey is. All of God's creation is amazing, especially you. For family, friends and anyone that doesn't have Jesus in their life, look in the mirror. How can you not marvel at the intricacies of the human body? Each part doesn't function and work together by chance. We are his workmanship, his masterpiece. God made us and we are amazing. When you accept God's grace, which meets each of us where we are, when you accept Jesus into your heart, the peace, peace and joy that fills your soul is unlike anything you will ever experience. But the choice is yours. Do you take the opportunity now 
or do you risk missing the best journey of your life? And it's not just for now, it's for all eternity. In the Bible, Romans 10 verse 9 says this, If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And verse 13 says, For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Please don't wait. None of us know when our journey on earth will end, and you might just leave it too late.